What if your husband, Lord forbid, was to pass away? I'm not having more kids. So I counsel like this and I will continue to counsel like this, but let me tell you why. So just to set this stage, I will do a tubal ligation or sterilize anybody, right? Once it is legal and you've been consented, I will do your procedure. I'm sure you will be hard pressed to find an OBGYN who has done a tubal on a 21 year old with no kids. I have. So this is not some type of paternalistic, I know better, God complex thing. These opinions are based on evidence and experience. So the first reason is informed consent. So even if you are asking for a procedure to be done to you electively, we still need to let you know about all the risks, including regret, that comes with the procedure, especially in the context of being Black in America, where people are forcibly sterilized all the time. It is something that is very important and that I feel very strongly about because some people do not get the luxury of informed consent. And if somebody is willing to do a procedure on you, no questions asked, you need to run. So the second thing is the risk of regret, which is very real. The reason I harp on all of these scenarios when I'm counseling is not because I'm trying to fear monger you or judge you or anything like that. It's because I have seen every one of these scenarios in practice. So it doesn't matter your marital status, your socioeconomic status, none of that. I've seen women from all walks of life come back in wanting to have more kids after being permanently sterilized. And once you've had to comfort these women who are in tears because you know they realize you can't untie their tubes or they realize they can't afford IVF then you know you start to have a change of heart that maybe this is something that I need to counsel better on in the beginning so that people know what they're getting themselves into. And very few of these patients that I've seen who regret the decision were not just as sure as that creator. Most people are 100% sure that they're not going to want to have kids, but I have seen it all. People who have lost their children, people who are happily married, who have five children by the time they are 30 and they just want one more or two more. Women who have gotten remarried and not it's not their husband, they want more kids, right? So these things do happen and most of the times people are not going to talk about it. As annoying, as intrusive as it may seem, I can only speak for myself, but it is coming from a good place. I don't want you to be in that situation in the future. And once I know that you understand and you have heard the risks, because that's something else people will say, or oh, nobody told me this was permanent, or nobody told me about these risks. Once you are well informed, yeah, sure, let's tie your tubes, but I'm still going to ask. <laughs>